Good morning, this is Kasturi Day speaking on nervous system according to ICC syllabus class 7. Uh, this is the chapter of human nervous system. Uh, this, what is a nervous system actually? The different processes which are undergoing in the body of all living beings are uh, different processes are digestion, respiration, uh, movement, etc. They are all interdependent and interrelated. We know they fulfill the general needs of the body. The interaction of these activities of a living being as per the needs of the body internally or externally is known as coordination. Okay. That is when these activities are taking place inside the bodies that is digestion, respiration, movement etc. Whatever activities are taking place in the body. They are uh, inside uh, taking place in the living being rather. Yes, as they are uh, uh, needed by the body internally and externally. Uh, uh, they are linked with each other. These activities are uh, linked with each other the interaction is known as coordination these coordination are of two types nervous coordination and chemical coordination then what is nervous coordination nervous coordination is brought about by the nervous system which consists of brain spinal cord nerves and sense organs for example when we are hungry we eat food this involves a number of coordinated activities. What is that? We look, uh, we have the eyes which look at the food placed on the table. Then the brain records this information and the action starts. What is the action? That is the arms get the message from the brain. The arms are then raised. The hands hold the plate in which the food is kept. And the fingers pick up the food and push them and push it into the mouth the food goes down through the alimentary canal then the food undergoes a series of different processes in our body that is uh, digestive, digestive processes which are undergoing in our body then they reach the bloodstream to fulfill the requirement that had risen when we felt hungry the second example is playing a fast game like tennis. Here also there are lots of coordination, coordinated activities taking place. Like a lot uh, mus this uh, are generally taking place by the muscles. Lot of coordination is by muscles. The judgment is made by the brain. The observation is made by the eye. Then when we have a pain in the sprained ankle, what happens? The signal this uh, the we have a sprain in the ankle the signal which uh, is uh, arise which arise due to arouse, arose due to this uh, this uh, sprained ankle the pain which arose that moves that we do not we would not able to move that part of the uh, ankle that part of the leg so that will receive that will go to the brain the brain will act accordingly and in that way, the brain will not allow the muscle to move the that part of the brain, so that it could be so that it could recover first fast. Okay. Now the chemical coordination. This chemical coordination is brought about by the chemical messengers or the hormones. For example, if you are suddenly attacked by a bull in the street. You try to run away from it. In such a situation, certain chemicals are released into the blood to provide you extra energy and strength to run. Okay. Now, the structural function unit of the nervous system. What is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system? The nervous system is made up of cells. That is called nerve cells. These are also called neurons. A neuron is the basic structural and functional unit of the nervous system. A neuron is divided into two parts. One is the main cell body called the cyton and the long fiber-like structure. This is the long, this is the main cell body, this is the cyton and this is the long fiber-like structure. That is called single long fiber-like structure. That is the axon. 
okay these main cell body have small uh, many small short fibers they are called dendrons cytoplasmic these are the cytoplasmic extensions and these are further dendrons are further divided into uh, further uh, small branches they are known as dendrites they receive the messages from other neurons or from other organs and transmit them to the cyton and the message are again transmitted from the cyton to the axon and from the axon it again transfers to the other nerve cell that is other neuron okay now the axon transmits the message from one neuron to the other i told you the end terminates into a number of branches the end of the axon can terminates into number of branches known as terminal branches and the axon is covered by a sheath called myelin sheath this is the pink color that is the myelin sheath okay now how the messages are transmitted along the neuron messages are transmitted in the form of a wave of chemical disturbances that is impulse okay they are transmitted in the form of a wave of chemical disturbances what is that chemical disturbances it is an electric signal and and that is known as impulse the neurons are not in direct contact to each other they communicate via synapses what is a synapse synapse is a, a gap between the axon terminal and the dendrite of another neuron axon terminal of one neuron and uh, a dend and the, and the dendrites of the other neuron it's a gap that is known as synapse and in is a, it's a junction where the two neurons communicate okay nerve cells when joined end to end form a nerve consists uh, in the nerve consists of a cord like structure with a number of nerve fibers bundled together now what are the types of neurons three types of neurons are there sensory motor and association neurons sensory neurons carry impulses from the sensory cell or sense organs motor neurons carry messages from the brain or the spinal cord and associated neurons transmits impulses from one neuron to another sensory neurons are uh, they transfer the impulses to the spinal cord or the brain and motor neurons they transfer the messages to the effector that is a gland or muscles and associated neuron i told you they transfer the impulses to another neuron okay now this is the way uh, this is the uh, uh, sensory neuron this is the cell body these are the dendrites this is the axon this is the axon it uh, and when there's a myelin sheath is there no i told you the axon is covered with a myelin sheath the, there are certain breaks of the myelin sheath that it's not continuous so in between two discontinued myelin sheath there is a, a node of ranvier the portion that the small gap between that myelin sheath is broken down and that place is known as node of ranvier okay now this uh, this is the sensory uh, neuron this is connected to the associated neuron this is the cell body of associated neuron this is the axon and this are the this is the synapse this is the sensory neuron and the dendrite of the associated neuron sensory neuron terminal uh, branches of the axon and this is the sensory uh, this is the uh, terminal branches of the axon of the sensory neuron and the dendrite of the uh, i mean the dendrites of the associated neuron the gap between this the synapse this gap okay here also when it combines this is sensory uh, neuron uh, associated neuron when it uh, links to the motor neuron this is the dendr uh, this is the dendrites of the motor neuron and this is the terminal branch of the axon of the associated neuron right this is the synapse
okay this is the cell body of the motor neuron here is also the myelin sheet it is connected to the it uh, carries uh, impulses and uh, carries impulses to the muscle or the gland okay there are three types of this is the diagrammatic recommendation of the three types of neuron what is a nerve a nerve is a formed of a bundle of axons that is nerve nerve fibers enclosed in a tubular medullary sheath it acts like an insulation medullary sheath tubular medullary sheath which acts as a insulation and prevents mixing of impulses in the adjacent fibers now fibers are three types sensory nerve fiber motor nerve fiber and mixed nerve fiber Now, sensory nerve fiber contains only sensory neurons. Motor nerve fiber contains only motor neurons, and mixed neuron fiber contains only uh, both the sensory and the motor neurons. Sensory neurons like optic nerve of the eye, motor neurons nerve of the muscles of the eyeball, mixed nerves, uh, the nerves which goes to the tongue. Sensory nerve fibers carry impulses from the sense organs to either the spinal cord or the brain. Motor neurons carry the messages from the brain and the spinal cord to the muscles or the glands. Glands. Mixed nerves. Mixed nerve fibers transmit impulses from the CNS, that is the central nervous system, to the muscles of the body. Now, human nervous system. Most Uh, responses of the body to the external stimuli most response of the body to the external stimuli and the functioning of the uh, functioning of the various systems are controlled by the nervous system okay the three there are three ner uh, systems nervous systems are divided into three part three uh, parts central nervous system that is cns peripheral nervous system that is pns and autonomous nervous system the central nervous system consists of a brain and the spinal cord peripheral nervous system consists of nerves passing to and from the central nervous system reaching out to all parts of the body and autonomous nervous system consists of the pair of chains of ganglia that is ganglia is a mass of nerve cells and nerves which control the central vital functions of the body certain vital functions of the body like the heart beat respiratory movements and peristalsis in central nervous system the brain lies within the skull and the spinal cord lies within the vertebral column that is they are protected the brain is protected by the skull and the spinal cord is protected by the vertebral column now this is the end of the uh, introduction of the nervous system will come with the parts of the nervous system that is next uh, in the next video i'll come with brain spinal cord okay and uh, 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 if you have any doubts please let me know at uh, kasturi74 at the rate hot uh, gmail.com and if you like the video please press the like button and do please do subscribe thank you